What is going on everybody? Today I will be previewing the 2024 college football schedule for Stanford. I will go through every game on their schedule and I will predict which games on the schedule I think they will win and I will also predict which games on the schedule I think they will lose. But as always before we preview their schedule let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football then you'll love this channel. Because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Last season Stanford finished with a 3-9 record. It was the third consecutive season in a row where Stanford only won 3 games. David Shaw just couldn't keep this team together near the end of his coaching career. David Shaw led them to multiple double digit win seasons and he also led them to three Pac-12 championships in the 2010s. But after David Shaw stepped down from the job, we saw head coach Troy Taylor take over the head coaching job. I do think Stanford has potential with Troy Taylor. He had a decent amount of success at Sacramento State, leading them to multiple FCS playoff appearances. He still has a lot to prove, but Troy Taylor does have a solid 2024 recruiting class, and four-star quarterback Elijah Brown could set the tone for the future of this team with Troy Taylor at head coach. I'm going to be honest, I don't expect great things from Stanford next season, but I do think they could be heading in the right direction, and this could be a long-term rebuild to get them out of that 3-9 slump. Next season, they really don't have a lot of positives going for them. The defense gave up 37 points a game last season, and they lost 9 players to the transfer portal, including one of their good tight ends, Benjamin Urasek, and Troy Taylor didn't really prioritize the transfer portal as Stanford only has 2 transfers. We will see if he brings in more, but hopefully he uses the transfer portal a bit more in the future. The offense has potential with Ashton Daniels and Alik Ayamaner back, but it is really a two-man show in Stanford right now, and I do not expect any much of an improvement in 2024. But anyways, let's get into predicting their schedule, and they open the season playing at home against TCU on a Friday night. TCU is a team that I expect to be solid next season. They did only go 5-7 and seven last season, but four of their losses came by one possession, and next season they returned 71% of production, which is top 21 in the country. The offensive line only returns one starter, but they brought in four offensive linemen and have the second best chance for portal class in the ACC. They also have a young quarterback in Josh Hoover who stepped up in their final six games and had 300 plus yards in five of those games. And he did that only as a freshman and he should be even better next season. This could end up being a fun high score and shootout, but TCU should definitely pull away in the second half. And I definitely have Stanford losing this game and move it to 0-1 on the season. The next game for Stanford is at home against FCS Cal Poly. Cal Poly is a very bad FCS team. They only won three games last season and Stanford should not lose back-to-back -back seasons against FCS teams because Cal Poly is not nearly on the same level as Sacramento State was last season. This should be a free win for Stanford unless they choke. So I do have Stanford winning this game and move it to 1-1 one one on the season. Following their game against Cal Poly, Stanford will have a bye week. And then they play on the road against Syracuse. And I may not be as high in Syracuse as some people may be. I do expect Syracuse to be a solid team. I just do not expect them to be great. And I don't expect them to be a team that competes near the top of the ACC quite yet. But Stanford is in rebuild mode. And Syracuse is a lot closer to success than Stanford is. I do like the hire of Fran Brown a head coach for Syracuse. The defense could take a step up and Kyle McCord has potential at quarterback. I expect Syracuse to take a step up in 2024. And I definitely have Stanford losing this game on the road and move it to 1-2 and two on the season. The next game for Stanford is on the road against Clemson. Again, this is going to be a difficult road game for Stanford and this game should get out of hand quickly. Clemson may have their concerns on offense and Kay Klubnik really needs to take a step up, but the defense for Clemson will keep them near the top of the ACC like always. Dabo Sweeney may not use the transfer portal, which is a concern, but he does recruit pretty well and Clemson is still a pretty decent team. So I definitely have Stanford losing this game to Clemson on the road and I have Stanford move it to 1-3 and three on the season. The next game for Stanford is at home against Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech won 7 games last season and they ended the season in dominant fashion beating Tulane by double digits in their bowl game. Virginia Tech drastically improved in the second half of last season and they will also be returning the most amount of production out of all the FBS teams in college football and they have so many positives heading into next season. The defense is solid and Kyron Jones is a pretty solid quarterback and Virginia Tech also returns their top 4 receivers so I really expect Virginia Tech to honestly be a top contender for the ACC championship in 2024. I do have Stanford losing this game at home against Virginia Tech and I have Stanford move it to 1-4 and on the season. The next game for Stanford is on the road against Notre Dame. Stanford lost to Notre Dame by 33 points last season and I expect no different outcome in 2024. In fact, it could get even worse for Stanford. 
Stanford will have this game on the road against a Notre Dame team that I believe is trending up. I know it may be a reoccurring theme with Notre Dame being overrated, but this Notre Dame team feels different heading into next season, and Marcus Freeman is an underrated head coach in my opinion. Notre Dame has more room to grow on the offensive side after bringing in Riley Leonard at quarterback and multiple receivers out of the transfer portal. The new offensive coordinator will be Mike Denbrock, and let's not forget Mike Denbrock was the former offensive coordinator for LSU who had Heisman winning quarterback Jaden Daniels. Notre Dame has a lot of talent on this team, and now they just have to put it all together and I would not be surprised if they ended up in that 6 or 5 seed of the playoffs. Stanford stands no chance in this game, and I have Stanford losing this game on the road and move it to 1-5 and five on the season. The next game for Stanford is at home against SMU, and I expect SMU to be a solid team, but I also don't expect SMU to be perfect, and I think SMU is going to have their ups and downs in the ACC. SMU returns Preston Stone at quarterback, and the defense took a big step up last season, and the defense should also be solid again. But the ACC is going to be a lot tougher competition, so I am interested to see how SMU plays against that ACC competition. I think Stanford will actually pull off the upset in this game. Stanford has this game at home, and I think Stanford will catch SMU off guard. No particular reason, but upsets happen, and I'm going to say Stanford upsets SMU, so I have Stanford beating SMU and move it to 2-5 and five on the season. The next game for Stanford is at home against Wake Forest. This could potentially be a game that determines who the worst team in the ACC is. I know I just had Stanford beating SMU, but I do not think Stanford continues their momentum because I believe Wake Forest is the more complete team, and I don't think I would be surprised if Wake Forest made a bowl game because they return 74% of production on defense, and they bring in quarterback Hank Bashmeyer from Louisiana Tech out of the transfer portal. They also have a head coach with a very good track record, and I would not be surprised if he turned this Wake Forest team around. I do think Stanford will lose this game at home, and I have Stanford move it to 2-6 and six on the season. The next game for Stanford is on the road against NC State. There's multiple teams that I believe will compete near the top of the ACC, but I really like this NC State team, and I think they could honestly make the ACC championship game because they have an easy conference schedule and the offense has so much potential with Grayson McCall at quarterback. NC State does not get talked about enough, but I wouldn't be surprised if NC State actually won double-digit games for only the second time in school history. The defense is usually solid and the offense brings in Noah Rogers, Wesley Grimes, and Justin Jolie at receiver, but also Jordan Waters at running back from Duke, who is very solid. The offense has potential to be one of the best offenses in the ACC. And I definitely have Stanford losing this game and move it to 2-7 and seven on the season. Following their game against NC State, Stanford will have a bye week and then they play Louisville at home. I'm probably not as high in Louisville as most people are. I think NC State is going to be better than Louisville is. But I still cannot take away from that defense of Louisville because it could potentially be the best defense in the ACC. They return 79% of production on defense which is actually top 7 in the country. And they stacked up their defense even more by adding more additions from the transfer portal. The offense is a concern to me and Tyler Shuck is a very injury prone quarterback. And that is exactly why I don't think Louisville is an ACC championship caliber team. But that is just my opinion and they could definitely prove me wrong. But regardless Louisville is a good team and they are much better than Stanford. So I have Stanford losing this game and move it to 2-8 on the season. The next game for Stanford is on the road against California. These are two California teams in the ACC. And it is kind of weird to think about, but that's just how college football works now. California beat Stanford by double digits last season, and I'm pretty high on California. I think they are probably going to be the most surprising team in the ACC next year. I don't think the defense is where it needs to be for California to be in the top of that ACC title race, but I could see them being close to that ACC title race and giving teams a hard time. And I don't think California is a team that will only win six games again, and I expect them to take another step up. They return 73% of production, which is top 14 in the country, and they also have a top 5 ACC transfer portal class. Justin Wilcox has used the transfer portal well in the new landscape of college football, and I think California is only trending up. They return one of the best running backs in the country, Jaden Ott. They bring in two four-star receivers out of the transfer portal, Mikey Matthews from Utah and Tobias Merriweather from Notre Dame. Transfer portal quarterback Chandler Rogers could mix up that quarterback room as well. The offense has so much potential and I don't think the defense will be as atrocious as it was last season. Four-star cornerback Marcus Harris should be a big addition in the secondary. Everybody is talking about Syracuse being that team that takes a big step up, but I honestly think California and Syracuse have similar situations. They both return talent and have a top 5 ACC transfer portal class, and they also both only won 6 games last season. But I like California more heading into next season, and they also return their head coach. I have Stanford losing this game and move it to 2-9 on the season. 
The last game of the season for Stanford is on the road against San Jose State. This is another road game for Stanford, but this game will also stay in the state of California, and I could see this game going either way. But I don't think San Jose State will be as good as they were last season. They only returned 42% of production, and they did not do that great in the transfer portal either. I think Stanford will beat San Jose State, so I have Stanford finishing the season with a 1-7 conference record and a 3-9 overall record. And I guess I am predicting the 3-9 curse to continue for the Stanford team, but they could very well go 2-10. The schedule is pretty difficult outside of their two easy games against Cal Poly and San Jose State, and even San Jose State could possibly give them trouble. And if you are a Stanford fan, I'd say give it time. They've had some solid recruiting classes, and I don't think Troy Taylor is a terrible head coach. Elijah Brown should be solid at quarterback when it is his time to start, and Stanford could become a bull-eligible team again, at the very least, within the next couple of years. But I just do not see any success at least next season. But you guys let me know how many games you think Stanford will win in 2024 down in the comments below. But that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video, and also subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel, because we upload a ton of college football content, and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing, and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys, and peace out.